Hey everyone, Devin, your knife guy here. Just wanted to give you a couple tips as we're getting closer to that holiday season. We're gonna be doing a lot of entertaining, making those bigger family dinners. And I know a lot of time people always ask me like, what's a good carving knife? What's gonna do that job right? So I've got a few options here for you just to show you how they work. So first off, when you're carving, I always say grab either your turning fork, which is this gonna be more of a utility fork that you can use in your frying pans for like flipping bacon and everything. It is quite sharp. I learned that the hard way. Or use the traditional carving fork, which is our two prong. Either one of these are designed to lift about 100 pounds. So they are really heavy duty and they anchor into the meat and whatever you're carving really nicely. So first off, grab whichever one you prefer. The, our traditional one is the Petite Carver. This one's about a six and three quarter inch blade. And this is gonna be for things that are about uh, five pounds or less. So if you're just cooking for two to four people, I usually say grab the Petite Carver. It's a nice, small, compact option. So I anchor into the meat and then you can just do those long, clean cuts and just carve right through. So because this ham's a little bit bigger than what this knife is designed for, uh, I can't do quite a perfect slice on it, but gives you a nice option for carving. There's a small option at the table with the smaller guy. Going into the bigger size meat, the uh, carving knife, this one's about a nine inch blade, and this one is designed for about five pounds of meat or more. So it's more for those bigger family dinners, those bigger turkeys, the bigger hams, bigger roasts. And I always say with these ones, because there's that curve at the front of the blade, that helps to go around anything that might have bones in it. So that can be really helpful. So the same kind of effect when you're carving. And you can do nice, even slices every time. So this is definitely the right length of knife for this specific ham. So that, those are our traditional versions. A couple newer ones that came out not long ago, the, we have our Santoku line. So this is our eight inch, and then we have a 10 inch version as well. Same kind of concept. So this will be more for the five pounds a meter less, like the smaller family dinners. And then this 10 inch is gonna be more for the bigger size. Same kind of thing when you're carving, you can still do those long clean cuts on everything as you're carving and you can still go through it. I do like this the Santoku line when you're doing things that are a little denser because it does have a little bit more of a backbone on the blade. So it gives you a little more power and you can definitely go through those harder shells. With the Santoku line as well, if you go through things like your cantaloupes, your pineapples, those harder shells, these ones work great as well. So I hope this helps you as you're getting close to that family dinner coming up with the holiday season and hopefully this makes it a lot easier to work in the kitchen.